pollution affected you directly. The truth is, stormwater pollution affects us all. Don't let karma get you. Think blue. Hey, folks, you're invited to swing by the merchandise tent, pick up the latest in crew classic apparel. Crew Classic merchandise is available at the Merchandise Tent and at the online store at crewclassic.org. Also mentioning that, the Merchandise Tent, stop by and pick up a DVD of a race that maybe one of your loved ones or someone else might have been in. About 30 minutes after the race is completed, the DVD is available. It's only $15, and you get the wonderful camera work that we have for our fine cameraman here at the 40th Annual San Diego Crew Classic. Okay, we're getting ready for event number 99. This is the Women's Open Grand Final, Lane 1, Union Boat Club, Lane 2, University of California at Berkeley, Club. 3, University Bates California. College, Lane 4, College. University of California at Los, Los Angeles, Lane 5, University, University of California, California Irvine, Irvine. Lane University 6, Columbia. University Attention. of British Columbia. Go. We have a start. All six crews out of their starting blocks cleanly. The early leader is Cal in lane two, followed by British Columbia in lane six, then Union Boat Club in lane one, UCLA in lane four, Lane three, Bates College, and then lane five, Irvine. Tight race, the first 250 meters. But our early leader is still in lane two is Cal. They are fighting off lane one, Union Boat Club. Followed closely now by Bates in lane three. And University of British Columbia out in lane six. Then UCLA in lane four. And then Irvine in lane five. The crews has settled in comfortably into their race cadence, their race strategy. And now as they approach 500 meters, Cal has opened up their lead, open water over lane one, Union Boat Club, lane six, British Columbia, lane four, UCLA, lane three, Bates College, lane five, Irvine. That's your call at 500 meters. Women's Grand Final for the open category and they are racing for the Carly Copley Cup. This is event number 99 and checking the lane assignments. Union Boat Club of Boston, Massachusetts is in lane one. University of California is in lane number two and they are currently leading this. Bates College in lane three. 
University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA in lane number four. It is Cal Irvine in lane number five and the University of British Columbia in lane number six. As, as with the... As with the men, the women's open grand final is a combination of crews from Union Boat Club, who are like the, uh, uh, would be mostly a crew of graduates from university. Uh, university of California, Berkeley, uh, will, may even be a third varsity from the University of California. Bates College may be doubling up from another event at this regatta. Uh, UCLA may indeed be a third varsity again. UC Irvine probably doubling up from another event, as may be the University of British Columbia. So as we see in this race, it's the Cal crew are probably their third varsity from their very strong program, and Union Boat Club, who have a fairly commanding lead at this point, with UBC tracking them on the far outside lane. California on the lead, open water trying desperately to stay with them the rest of the pack, but right now it has been a futile effort as they come across a thousand meters. Union Boat is in that second echelon as the leader, so if you want to look at it as two separate races, we might just as well do that. On the outside, the University of British Columbia, uh, then comes UCLA, Bates, and the University of California, Irvine. In saying what I just said, I will kind of cut my tongue out because as we saw in an earlier race, Charles, we had a crew that was on the lead and threatening to win it all and caught a crab and lost it right at the finish line. So without regard to the fact that Cal is so far in the lead right now, there is always a possibility of disaster. So the other crews need to stay concentrated on what they're doing. Focus is everything. Focus on your technique. Focus on uh, making sure that you're working in tandem with other people and uh, just making sure you get, you know, at the very least, get in and out together. Well, on the far outside, it looks like uh, University of British Columbia has made a little bit of a move, and also UCLA has stayed with them. The Union Boat Club appears to be falling back just a little bit, and then to the trailing crews, uh, that would be Bates and uh, UCI. Cal is still unthreatened at the moment. UCLA beginning to make a little move up on the outside. California on the lead, as they have been throughout they jumped off that start line and uh, they have expanded ever so slightly all the way up and down and they have a quite a bit of open water uh, drifting back to now UCLA. UCLA Union Boat University of British Columbia. You see a Union Boat just kind of took a detour and lost a little bit more ground so Cal is really shining brightly here. University of British Columbia appears to have moved into that second spot over UCLA, open water back to Union Boat, and then we go to Bates and all the way back to the University of California, Irvine. Cal moving smoothly along, not threatened at all in any way, shape, or form. The race is beginning to shape up between UCLA, who has taken back their position from University of British Columbia. So the interest here will be in UCLA on the near shore side and uh, British Columbia on the outside. Right now, UCLA has the edge. Looking back at the start of our race, it is California in the lead very substantially, followed by UCLA taking over second spot from British Columbia then comes Union Boat Bates and UCI. As we mentioned UCI, Cal is just finishing and they will be the unofficial yet apparent leader. UCLA looks like they have taken the measure of the University of British Columbia and then the trailing will be Union Boat Bates and the University of California at Irvine. So the apparent yet unofficial winner of the Carly Copley Cup 
will be the crew from the University of California. We'd like to thank all of the sponsors and donors for allowing the San Diego Crew Classic to continue this tradition here in Mission Bay. San Diego Zoo and Safari Park, Wendell and Reed, Iliasimo, okay. Chevrolet, Carl Strauss, and Coca-Cola. Thanks to our sponsors and donors, you've made a wonderful 40th anniversary San Diego Crew Classic.